How's it going guys? Instead of vlogging inside the house today I thought I'd vlog inside the car on the way to the gym. So yeah, this is the second instalment of this day. Well the 31 day transformation. Um, it's going well in all fairness. I'm not going to give you a physique update just yet or give any indication of how much weight I have lost so far. But yeah, you'll have to wait until the day 31. But all I can say is in regards to determination and um, consistency I've actually never done a diet this well so it's paying off you'll just have to wait for the results on day 31 but yeah so yeah today's Sunday the 15th day 15 of my transformation um, today's leg day but I've also got to do some cardio afterwards and I thought you know what I don't want to be in the gym for uh, two hours three hours or so so why not kill two birds with one stone um, so what I'm going to do is do a kettlebell workout. Um, you'll see from the footage just what I mean, what exercises are included. I've never done it before, but again, I'm not, do I really want to go in the gym? You know, and do some squats, barbell squats. It gets boring after a while, doesn't it? Do the same workout, same exercises, um, hence why I'm switching it up. Um, and also, in particular, when you're using kettlebells, they allow, they allow you to um, use muscles that you wouldn't normally use. When you're doing a kind of a, a squat on, on, on the, you know on the spot um, you'll see exactly what I mean when I post the footage but yeah hope you enjoy this workout and post any questions if you have any in addition to the leg workout that you will see I will be posting some bonus footage and also I had a bit of a barbecue well a healthy barbecue yesterday so yeah enjoy the footage here we have it guys the start to the leg workout as you can see I'm warming up my upper body Starting with the upper body and then transitioning to the lower body just to get some blood into the motion, warm each joint up as I approach this new leg workout that I've not really done, the kettlebells and let's see how we get on. Here you simply see me warming up with the foam roller, getting all those kinks. Exercise one then using 18 kg kettlebells, swinging them up to the shoulder area and then simply going as low as possible. You'll know, you'll know if you look at my ankles, my ankles aren't even lifting off the floor. That's how good the kind of the weight balance is, the weight distribution with the kettlebells. It's not on your back with the you know with, with a typical low bar, high bar squat, you need you need using a barbell. Um, it just distributes the weight very well, on my body in particular anyway. And in turn it leaves you with no back injuries, no back stiffness at all. As you can see, I'm going well below parallel. Definitely, definitely recommend these um kettlebell squats. In addition to this whole squat thing, yeah, it may look more macho doing squats and uh, you know using a barbell, but I guarantee you, there's way more muscle recruition uh, when it comes to um, using kettlebells. It's honestly, I stand by it, and I'm pretty sure I'll make it my staple in my leg day from now, now onwards. Here you simply see me doing a second set. The set's comprised of 12 reps each. Um, you know, honestly, when it got to the third set which is, the, this is the, the start of third set. It got quite hard, and it's because I usually warm up with like the 8kg kettlebells, but I started off straight away with these 18kg kettlebells. Yeah, but my goal is to pre-exhaust pre those legs before I continue. Exercise two then, I'm not sure what these are called, but as you can see, I'm doing one leg at a time and it's pretty much constant tension in regards to as soon as you hit the floor, get back up. Um, you can tell, you can see the muscle recruition from my calves in the sense of it's pretty much constant tension. The only rest you get is when you are up and your legs fully extended, um, but I definitely recommend these also. Um, 
if you're asking where this whole leg day is coming from, in all honesty, it's actually um, the YouTuber in America, Mike Rashid. Um, it's one of his recommended leg workouts. Um, I thought, let's go on YouTube and see what's what. I simply, you know, approached it and I definitely do not um, regret it at all. Definitely recommend this leg workout. So yeah, if you do end up trying this leg workout, you know, get in touch and let me know how it is for you. I forgot to record the second set and this is the, simply the third set. I thought I'd brave it out and try these heavier kettlebells. And um, one thing it does do, this exercise, is it exposes your weaker side because you're using one leg at a time and you'll see it on my left leg here. I start struggling here and I have to use my right leg for support. Again, that's something I'd rather be exposed now instead of doing a, you know, a heavy barbell squat. And you may, everything may seem fine, you know, good in the hood. But now that I'm doing it single, these single leg squats, if you want to call them, it's clearly exposing my weaker side. So yeah, I'm grateful for that. This is simply my third exercise. No idea what they're called. So yeah, don't be looking um, for guidance when it comes to exercises in terms of exercise names because I'm, you know, Clearly not very good at that, um, but these really helped work my glutes area, my hamstrings. Um, as you can see from my form, not going too high and not stretching too low, keeping constant tension on the actual glutes and the hamstrings. Amazing for hamstring development, definitely recommend it. You'll see it's all about that tempo going up and down slowly and not. There's no need to make this an explosive uh, movement um, when it comes to muscle recruition. And, and, you know, getting that pump, definitely recommend going with a medium tempo. Here we have it, one of the final exercises, simply a leg press. Um, due to my leg placement, how high my feet are, this is focusing more on my hamstrings. Again, as you've seen from the previous ex uh, exercise, I've already somewhat burnt out my hamstrings, so I didn't really expect to put my legs this high, but yeah, I just went with it. Um, and I think I corrected myself in the second set and placed my, here you go, placed my feet closer, so that it's more, it's more of a quad dominant exercise. Yeah, man, I definitely felt you in my quads. Again, with such an exercise, seeing as though we've done how many pre-exhaustion exercises, it's all about that tempo and slow descent with a somewhat explosive uh, ascension. This is simply the second set. On each side I have 25 kg plus another 10 kg. Um, yeah. As before really, just the leg press focusing on the quads. I'm hoping you guys like this, these uh, voiceovers. It's something I aim to do a bit more in, in the future. This is simply my third set. Um, 25 kg plus 20 kg on either side. Um, leg placement is a little wider than the previous set. This is simply my final set. You can see by the size of my quads by now they're burning. They were, they were burning in all honesty. Um, but again, a great finisher to the um, workout. And now for the all important tips and tricks when it comes to calf development. As you can see, my feet are neutral. Um, slow descent, slow ascension as well, um, focusing on the middle section of the calf. You'll see how my place, foot placement changes, is to focus on the different heads of the calves. That's where most people go wrong in, in, the, in, in regards to calf development and they just give up and think, oh, my genetics are bad. No, in, in all honesty, that's not really a good enough excuse. It's using weight that's not too heavy. And again, focusing on the mind-muscle connection. Um, using different feet placement, here you go, this is a heel out, toes in approach and as you can see when it comes to muscle recruition, a lot's going on. Pausing at the top, pausing at the bottom, try that for at least 2-3 weeks. 
How's it going guys? I'll keep this fairly simple. Um, day 14, I'm about to make a meal and then um, seeing as though it's a nice day outside, I thought why not have a quick barbecue. Um, just because you're dieting doesn't mean you have to kind of stop living. Um, so what I'm going to do is barbecue some chicken quarters and um, in, addition, in addition to that, I'll be barbecuing some uh, chicken kebabs and yeah, let's get started. So as you see here, I've got some chicken quarters. I'm simply going to make my own marinade, which will comprise of chili powder, some salt, some garam masala, some tandoori masala, fresh lemon juice and some, well not fresh but some lime juice and then um, some paprika and some tried and tested cinnamon. So yeah, let's get to it. So yeah, to keep it simple, making marinade, a yogurt based marinade I must add. So simple, it's quite simple, whacking some yogurt as your base and season to your choice. I'm going for half spoon of everything pretty much so a one to one ratio of spices one thing I forgot to say was I'm definitely going to include some oregano can't go wrong with oregano Here we have the chicken all nice and marinated, ready to be chucked onto the barbecue. Before I actually begin, let's check out the barbecue, how the coal's doing. Um, I'm not going to give you an actual tutorial on barbecuing, but you can, as you can see, this is going to be a half-half method, where it will be indirect cooking on this side and direct cooking this side needs to be. Judging by that coal that's quite hot so I might have to even this out a bit more but yeah this heat's getting to me. Um, yeah let's get to it. <laughs> 